Hey, hey, I'm Celeste, and it's Friday Sews. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, it's certainly nice to meet you. My name is Celeste, and each and every week I upload, upload not a movie, <laughs> a video of what I've been sewing. <laughs> the previous week. So if that's something that you like, I hope that you will click subscribe and click that notification bell so that you are notified of each and every video that I upload. So uh, as you probably can tell by the date stamp of this, this is Friday Sews so Saturday edition because it just didn't happen yesterday and that's okay. <laughs> so let's dive into what we're going to talk about today. Um, I'm going to share what I've been sewing this past week, as well as a big event that's coming up on Monday, one of my favorite products, and my favorite Christmas movie. So I'll be interested to finding out what your favorite Christmas movie is, if you have one. So let's dive right into it. Uh, what have I been sewing this past week? What's missing? <laughs> my sewing machines. So I have gotten nothing sewn this past week. Uh, if you did not watch last week's video, which I will link this way. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I shared that we are moving to a different state. So that is happening this next week. In fact, Wednesday, the 22nd, the movers come to pack us all up. And I am not going to have them pack up my sewing machines because there are computerized um, systems in there and everything is going to storage. And I don't know if it's truly climate controlled or not. So I don't want to risk that in their storage. And I might want to sew in my new place as we're waiting and waiting for our, for our house to pop up that we can buy. So, um, pardon me. Uh, so uh, I'm boxing all of those up and then the 23rd they're loading the truck and they're taking off and we're taking off <laughs> and uh, hoping to arrive sometime on the 24th because my husband needs to get back for the Christmas Eve service at our new church he's on staff there so it's a little crazy in the midst of all of this um, I flew to our new state last weekend to look at our furnished condo, which we're very, very grateful for that church member that is renting that to us, uh, just to kind of look through to see what we may need in order to um, just live more comfortably. And uh, it's just personal preference. Like, uh, we don't have a balcony, so we can't have a grill. So our air fryer, fryer, which we use each and every week, two or three times a week, would be very helpful to be able uh, to prepare food. Crock pot, I use at least once a week, uh, especially on Wednesday nights when we're at church late. It just makes it really easy to come back and have a meal already prepared and not have to go through a drive through or go to a restaurant. So um, we um, really don't frequent that many restaurants. Um, so uh, that's one thing that would be helpful to us. Um, and like, you know, a few kitchen utensils that were not provided, like tongs and our little, little fish spatula, because my husband loves fish, as do I. And that makes it really easy to turn around. So those are some of the things that we're going to be taking with us, as well as my sewing machines. So I am boxing some things up. Uh, I'm boxing up our china right now. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable uh, them taking it uh, because the um, the insurance on it was really low. It's only 60 cents a pound and when I questioned that it was 60 cents a pound for the item. Well you know China doesn't weigh that much so uh, this is irreplaceable. This has been handed down from my mother to me. They purchased uh, this China pattern when they were stationed in Europe um, and so it's, I just can't replace it, so I am boxing it up, and we're going to be taking it with us. So, okay, so another life update. <laughs> Tomorrow, my brother and his family arrive and uh, for my mother's 80th birthday party, and she does not know what's going on. She knows my brother and his children and wife are coming uh, for, her for her birthday, and my husband is driving back. 
uh, from our new state for her birthday, but she doesn't know the rest of the story. So if you can keep the secret, here it is. So Monday, what we are doing is um, we are going to have a surprise birthday party at her uh, independent living facility. They have a private dining room, and so I've already reserved that, and I've asked the, the staff to get the word out to the residents to keep it hush-hush, but to come by and get a piece of cake. And so um, at that party, I'm going to have this book that I've been working on, and this book is just a sketchbook from Walmart. And so what I've done is I've used some of my scrapbooking stickers and I did a title page. And what I've also asked people on Facebook is to send a card to her uh, to celebrate her 80th birthday. And so people have been sending me cards for the past about three weeks. And so I've been putting those in here so that she can read each and every one of them. Some people sent me text messages or emails. And so what I did is I wrote those out word for word, like one of my cousins sent me one this morning. Um, and I put that in here for her. I'm going to have this book open at her birthday party so that her friends could also write a little um, birthday greeting for her as well. In addition to that, after her surprise birthday party, uh, we're coming back to my home and I'm going to host a little dinner for her. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, I have compiled video messages from uh, some of her brothers and nieces and nephews, and I've compiled them all into one, and we're going to show that on our TV. So I think she'll be pleasantly surprised by that. So that's a whirlwind in and of itself. We're having our family Christmas also Monday night with my side of the family. So other than that, I mean, life's been pretty boring, <laughs> said no one who's moving. Okay, let me share one of my favorite products that I discovered this year, actually. I've been using it for six months, and, um, you know, as we are maturing, we're looking for good facial creams, and I have tried a lot of drugstore brands, and um, they just didn't feel good on my skin. So I tried this from Joy Omi, I think is how you pronounce it, and, um, I've tried it for six months and I love it. So this bottle here lasts me for two months. This is the morning. There's an evening. I'm out of that, so I'm having to order that. But uh, this bottle and the night bottle will last you for two months. So I just use a couple of pumps in the morning, put it over my face and my neck. And what I love about it is how it feels on my face. It feels very smooth and uh, my makeup goes on very smooth uh, over the cream. And it doesn't have that sticky feel. I don't have, there's no scent to it. I'm very sensitive to that. I have very sensitive skin, and so it has really worked well for me. What I love about this company is that if for any reason why you're not completely satisfied, you have 60 days to get your money back. So this is really at no risk. Um, I love that about this particular product as well as how it feels. So I have included their link down below if you are interested in looking at that. Yes, it is an affiliate link. Um, so I do receive a small commission from it, but you can decide on yourself. As I said, for six months I've been trying this and I absolutely love it. One month I thought, well, maybe this is just, you know, something new so my skin likes it. I will not use it for a month and go back to the drugstore brands and and my face does not, did not feel as moisturized, and my makeup, I didn't think, looked as smooth and natural um, as it does with this. So, you might be looking for cream. There you go. All right. Christmas is coming <laughs> very quickly. Um, I wanted to share one of my favorite Christmas movies with you and I would love for you to comment below and share what your favorite Christmas movie is of all time. So what we typically do when we're not in two different states, my husband and I like to watch at least two Christmas movies every week during the month of December. Of course that hasn't happened because he's been working in a different state and I've been here trying to get the move going not only for myself but also for my mother. So I'm coordinating two moves. 
So what we are doing um, is we're just living life as best we can. So last night when I was writing, writing, I wasn't writing, I was rapping. There's a difference. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was wrapping the Christmas presents for my nephews and nieces, brother and sister-in-law, uh, my husband, my mother, all of those wonderful people, uh, because we're doing our Christmas on Monday night. And so I thought, I'm going to watch my all-time favorite Christmas movie as I am wrapping. So, da -da -da -da, my favorite one is Home Alone. And so I got the complete collection because there are four, if you didn't know. And I will tell you that my all-time favorite favorite is number one. I still laugh at it as if it's the first time that I've seen it. It's, it's just hilarious. Um, I do like number two because it's in a different setting and there are different <clears throat> funny pranks that he does. But I didn't care for three and four. The little boys are cute, but it just wasn't as funny as one and a little bit of two. So Home Alone 1 is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Um, after watching 1 and 2, I love watching the Peanuts collection. Um, I have the whole holiday collection here. But I like to watch the Christmas one. Um, just kind of, you know, kind of grounds us and reminds us of the true meaning of Christmas. And so I enjoy watching that. So what is your favorite Christmas movie? Have you been watching a lot of them? Um, it's been relatively hot in my state, uh, warmer than usual. And so it's really, really been hard to get in that Christmas spirit. But tonight, so we're going to change that because I am going to take my mother to look at Christmas lights. So we're going to stop by Starbucks and get her a hot chocolate. And I'm going to get my, I love, 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 my green iced tea with four and a half pumps of classic extra shaken. And then I'm going to get us two Christmas cookies, one for her, one for me. And we are going to get in the car and we're going to go from neighborhood to neighborhood to look at Christmas lights. So that will be fun. Um, that's something that my husband and I typically do. Maybe we'll get to do that in our new state on Christmas Eve. But uh, I'll crank up that Christmas mu music and we'll just have a good time looking at the lights in different neighborhoods. So that will be fun. So I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Um, next Friday, I will not be uploading a video on here because I will be driving. <laughs> and therefore, I won't be able to video. So hopefully the following week, I will pick back up with you to find out how your holidays went with your family and friends and share a little bit about our new place with you. So thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. And I want to thank all of you who have subscribed this year. I really have been more intentional these past two months of this year. And because of that, and because of you, I have now reached over the 200 mark of subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I would love for you if you haven't already subscribed and click that notification bell so that we can keep in touch. Thanks so much and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays.